Good morning, listeners, and welcome to Tuesday, July 2nd, 2019. I'm your host, Katie Parsons, and this is the Morning 4 podcast. And if you're watching on YouTube, welcome to T-Shirt Tuesday. I'm wearing a T-shirt I recently earned from running the Shark in the Park 5K here in Indian Harbor Beach, Florida. Had an awesome time. I got second place in my age group. It was really hot, but... The shirt is amazing, so I'm wearing it today in honor of that race. Um, send me pictures of what t-shirts you're wearing today. You can send those to the Facebook page for the morning4.com or email those to me at morning4podcast at gmail.com. Whatever you do today, I hope you're comfortable and happy and confident doing it. So with that in mind, let's get started today with number one. What's that in the sky? Is it a bird, a plane, a UFO? Well, humans love to speculate what could be out there in the great wide galaxy beyond our home planet. And today celebrates one of the most popular unknowns. It's World UFO or Unidentified Flying Object Day. Thousands of people report seeing unusual celestial objects each year. But perhaps the most famous potential UFO encounter happened in July 1947 in Roswell, New Mexico. That's when farmers there reported hearing a large crash and stumbling upon wreckage of what they believe was a vessel from outer space. As you can imagine, there have been all sorts of conspiracy theories surrounding that night. Some claim it was a top secret government experiment gone wrong. And we may never truly know what happened in Roswell or what is out there beyond our own comprehension, but it's sure fun to speculate. And you can do that today on World UFO Day. Number two. Okay, we're gonna go back to some geography today because I'm just on a roll with it this week. So yesterday, I told you about a remote puffin-filled island. Well, today, I wanna take you to Italy and one of the most dangerous stretches of drivable road in the whole world. The Stelvio Pass in Italy is accented with gorgeous views of the Alps, but ones you really shouldn't pay too much attention to if you actually wanna stay on the road and stay alive. Stelvio Pass winds through northern Italy along the border of Switzerland, and it reaches heights of over 9,000 feet, making it the highest paved pass in the Eastern Alps. It has some pretty steep inclines and 48 hairpin turns. In fact, the road is so challenging that it is part of the Tour of Italy cycling competition. I have some photos of it up on the YouTube video, or just click in the link in the show notes from where you're listening, and you'll get a closer look at this majestic masterpiece of road work. Number three. Today's feel-good news story is sourced from the Washington Post. A wedding photographer from New York is on a mission to discover kindness across America. In honor of her mother who passed away in 2013, 32-year-old Mary Latham packed up her mother's Subaru Outback and set out nearly three years ago to find kindness all throughout the U.S. The trip was triggered by a conversation Mary had with her mother a year before her death, one in which her mom encouraged her to look for goodness in the world, despite sadness and tragedy. Well, Mary only has seven states left on her list to visit, including Hawaii and Alaska, which she'll go to without the Subaru. Her road trip project is titled More Good, and she aims to use her photography skills from her stops to create a book that she'll donate to hospital waiting rooms throughout the country. You can read more about the trip and check out her photos so far by clicking the link in today's show notes. Number four. And on that note, let's go ahead and get ready for our affirmation today. I hope whatever you're facing that you feel loved, accepted, and embraced for who you really are. So today's is pretty simple, and I want you to repeat it after me. I am lovable. I am loved. I am worthy. You are so worthy today and every day. I hope that you have a wonderful Tuesday and I'll see you back here again tomorrow.